Hey guys, I got a boat to go over with you today. This one's a little bit different than anything we've ever done. That's rare for me to say that after 20 years of doing this at Gator Tracks Boat. So this is an 18, I have a, this is an 1854 hunt deck. So it's right at 20 foot in length. I have a customer that's running this boat down in Venice, Louisiana, and he's duck hunting out of it. He's doing some fishing out of it too, but primarily it's duck hunting and they use P-Rose to duck hunt. So they're gonna be traversing the Mississippi River long distances. It's a long ride from where we launched where you can last launch to where they duck hunt down in Venice. And it's got to carry loads on it. He's putting an outboard motor on the back. He's got a tunnel hull. There's a lot of hard bottom in Venice, so that's going to that's gonna work well for him there. But he also does a lot of hunting out of a pop-up blind with this boat. So he ran into the problem that a lot of guys run into when they want to do a center console, or you have to do a console of some kind once you get to a large enough motor, 115, 150, bigger than that. You're not driving that with a tiller handle most of the time and he didn't want to because of the long runs. So he has the same problem a lot of my customers run into. How am I gonna do a pop-up blind with a center console, have a place to sit, do all the things I wanna do, and still have enough room to stretch out three or four hunters with a pop-up blind situation in that boat? Where am I gonna put my gas tank if I don't have a back deck? Um, you know, on the front deck, how am I gonna have enough front deck to fish and then enough floor space to duck hunt? So this is what he did. This is really a unique boat. He had us make a cusp. This is a gas tank. And this gas tank goes inside this console and fills from right here. And he's got over 20 gallons of gas for this thing. I think it wound up being like 27 gallons of gas. I can't remember off the top of my head, but it's a sizable gas tank. And it's in the middle of the boat as well as his cranking battery is going to be underneath here, which left me nothing to have to hide back here wide open. Now he's got some removable decks. I'm going to put them in in a minute and show you what it looks like with that. But in duck hunting mode, the decks are out and he's got enough room to sit behind this console and comfortably hunt, plus room to put three guys up here in front of this console. One, two, three, if nobody even sits on the gas tank seat, which also doubles as a jump seat. You got a place to sit right here as well. He's got open catwalks with um, the trays underneath the bottom of them to store guns and soft cases or whatever they want to store to the full length of the boat. And then when this fishing season comes around, not even really the fishing season, man, you're talking about a two minute. It's going to take us two minutes to put these decks in here and come back on this camera again to drop these decks in here and have a nice rear deck to fish from and a nice front deck to fish from. Now, when you'll notice when I put this back in here, put the rear deck back in, you're gonna see a lean post that slides through two collars and goes into two sockets in the floor. In duck hunting mode, he's going to have an ice chest seat back here on the floor that he's gonna sit on while he's duck hunting and that's what he'll also drive from. Most of the time he advises me that he drives standing up anyway. Another thing you're gonna see on this back back here, if you take the camera and look, let me, matter of fact, let me take the camera and I'll show you. This is what the back floor looks like in here. So you can see a little bit of a scoop coming up above that tunnel. That We had to do that to get the wiring underneath the floor and back underneath the hunt deck to run the motor, cables, and all that stuff on. But that piece of pipe there is for a radar stanchion. He's gonna have a post that sticks up 72 inches with a radar dome on the top for running that foggy Mississippi River. This is the inside of the boat in duck hunting mode. He's putting a 12 inch gar uh, Garmin or Lowrance. I'm not sure what he's putting right there. He's installing that himself along with the motor. Duck hunting mode. That's what she looks like. Very short front deck. He'll have his uh, life jackets and throw cushions and stuff up, up there underneath, underneath that front deck and plenty of room for the pop-up blind that we're about to stall in a minute, but I didn't put the pop-up blind on on purpose. I wanted you to see the full, um, the way the boat laid out before the blind was on it. So give me two minutes. We're gonna put the decks in here and I'll show you what it looks like in fishing mode. All right, I don't even think that took us two minutes, but now your front deck is in and you just got a short front deck. It's only an 18 inch. He could have got two, three, four foot, wouldn't have mattered. Front deck is in. Now you see as we walk down the catwalks to the back. Now he's got a back deck in, which does not interfere with his radar stanchion post and a nice lean post. That hooks through those collars and slides into two sockets on the floor. And that's what it looks like when he's ready to go fishing. And that was a two minute conversion. So 
pretty sweet setup for what he's doing and I've done that before I've, I know lots of guys that hunt that way down there and I've done it myself I wish I'd have had this boat when I was doing that because it's a extremely functional boat if you want to leave it wide open for hunting with a pop-up blind and be able to use it for fishing and other things for the rest of the year or even during the duck season in the afternoon when you get through uh, duck hunting sweet rig man I look forward to seeing it all rigged out when he gets his motor put on. Thanks for checking it out.